Hello and welcome everybody, it's KB here. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to sideload Android apps on Windows 11 or how to install APK files on Windows 11. So, you know, Android apps on Windows 11 is now real. There is Windows subsystem for Android. And if you don't know how to get this feature, then I will put a link in the description for the video that I made about this. So you can watch that video and learn how to get this feature on your Windows 11. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you guys how to install a APK file. Uh, right now, it's a little bit complicated. Not that complicated, actually. It's very easy. I know you are very intelligent. You can follow the tutorial very easy. It's like few clicks, okay? So once you have got your Android subsystem for Android, open this up, okay? Uh, once you open this, you will see a option developer mode turn it on okay and you can click on manage developer mode and it's on okay so now once you have done this make sure that you get this uh, adb can be connected on this address make sure you remember this okay now next step you need to do is download this uh, sdk platform tools okay I will put link in the description you can go there and yeah download from here so you can download for windows because we are using the windows 11 so it's very small actually uh let me actually download this one more time i have it downloaded already okay it's very small uh it's 11 megabyte okay it's gonna be a zip file unzip it easy peasy and once you unzip it you'll get this folder a platform tool and you need to get to this folder where it is like adb exe okay so now we need to connect adb to our android subsystem so earlier i said that you need to remember this okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do this little bit like that and now in the folder you need to right click and open terminal which will open the powershell okay and after that, in PowerShell, we need to type adb.exe, okay, and connect, just like that. And uh, we need to type this address, 127. And I think uh, you'll get the same address, okay? You won't get different address. It's the same address, okay? And after that, that, 5 eight five <laughs> i'm really slow at typing two six okay once you have typed the address hit enter and it will say started successfully all right now we have connected our android subsystem to adb now we can just install the any application that we want to install so you can go on the internet, download your favorite APK, you know, as long as that application doesn't require a Google Play services, it's it's going to run. If it requires you to have a Google Play services and all that, it won't run, but you can install. So let's say, for example, I want to download the f -Droid. This is a open source uh, application or app store for Android. Okay. And I'm gonna copy this to the folder where our ADB is, okay, uh, ADB tool inside the platform tools. Copy and paste it just like that. And I can rename this for easy use, or I can just copy this like, copy the name of the file, okay. Now in here, go to the PowerShell again, type ADB dot why am I looking at the keyboard? <laughs> exe and install in space. And uh, I copied the full fdroid.apk. You need to type. You can rename it for easy. If the app name is very long, you can just rename it to whatever and just dot .apk. Do that and hit enter. And it's going to say that success. And if you open the start menu, you will see Aftroid is here. Yay! So, and we are running the Aftroid. Now we can download apps from the Aftroid. So, 
yeah that's that so this is how you install a apk file on windows 11 i know this is like a little bit complicated not that complicated actually you just need to type these two command lines and you're done yay and uh, yeah you can install any application as long as it doesn't require you to have a um, google play services it's gonna run if it requires like google play services you install google play apps like uh, youtube gmail or anything like that it won't work because uh, this doesn't have a google play services installed uh, maybe uh, you know there are many people geeky people who <laughs> will figure out a way to install google play services or micro g or something like that to run any application on windows 11 as of now this is how you do it and uh, yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it i will put link in the description for the um uh platform tool you can go there download if you want to use this afteroid i will also put link in the description you can download this this is like a you know app store open source app store from here you can download some games some cool apps maybe uh, and i have actually downloaded this aurora store which is almost identical to um, uh, google play store this is also open source uh, application if you want it i will put link in the description for this too you can go there and sideload this and from here you can download the application and make sure that you don't download the google play uh, applications google applications because they won't run yay <laughs> uh yeah for now that's it uh, this is how you do it and uh, if there is any other way or much easier way or if there is a way to install a google play services and all that i will also make a video about that so stay tuned for that and that's it hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye